Hello there students, good day, welcome to Surgeon TV. In this video, I'm going to discuss to you how to find the general rule or the end term of a sequence. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, find its general rule or end term of the sequence 3, 6, 9, and 12. Solution, let's have the step number one. Let's draw a table and let's put in the value of n or the term number and the a sub n the term number one or the a sub one is three term number two or the a sub two is six term number three is nine and term number four is twelve step two is we're going to find the common difference of each terms so let's have 3 and 6 has a difference of 3. 6 and 9 has a difference of 3. 9 and 12 has a difference of 3. Note that the first difference are the same. Therefore, this is a sequence that is a linear in nature where n term or the general rule can be expressed as a sub n equals a n plus b. Now we're going to find the value of a and b here since n is the term number. So for the step 3, we're going to find a formula wherein we can find the value of 3, 6, 9, and 12. For the first term, which is 3, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Note that the 3 here is the value of a which we get from the common difference of the terms. And 1 here is the value of n, which is 1. Now, to get the value of 6, we multiply 3 times 2. 2 here is the term number. And we got 6. For the third term, 9, we got 3 times 3 equals 9. And 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Observe that 3, 6, 9, and 12 is a sequence which term is a multiple of 3. So therefore, for the step 4, we're able to find the end term or the general rule of the sequence given by a sub n is equal to 3n. How we are able to get the 3n here? Since the value of a here is 3, it is the common and the value of a in here is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we get the n term a sub n equals 3n. So therefore, the general rule or the n term of the sequence 3, 6, 9, and 12 is a sub n equals 3n. Let's have another example. Find its general rule or the n term of the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7. Observe that the terms in this sequence are odd numbers. And to solve for this, let's have another table. N or the term number and the a sub n. For first term, which is 1. Second term is 3. Third term is 5. And the fourth term is 7. For this step 2, we're going to find the difference between the consecutive terms of a sub n. The difference between 1 and 3 is 2. 3 and 5 is 2. 5 and 7 is 2. Since they have a common difference, therefore this is a sequence which is linear in nature. And the n term can be expressed as a sub n equals a n plus b. Now we're going to find the value of a and b here. Since the value of n is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now take note that the, that the common difference is 2. We can assume that the value of a here is 2. For the step 3, we have the table a sub n equals a n plus b. Now we can apply a trial and error here. Since we assume that the value of a is 2, we can multiply 2 by the term number 1, 2 times 1, and we get 2. But the first term here is 1. We subtract 
1. So that is 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 1. So we get the first term. Now we will use this expression to get the a sub 2, which is 3. So 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 equals 3. For the third term, 2 times 3 minus 1 equals 5. And for the fourth term, 2 times 4 minus 1 equals 7. So therefore, the mathematical expression that we use satisfy all the terms in the sequence. Step 4, we're now able to get the n term or the general rule. That is, a sub n equals 2 n minus 1. Therefore, the general rule or the n term of the sequence, 1, 3, 5, 7 is a sub n equals 2 n minus 1. Now, let's have another example. Find its general rule or n term of the sequence. Now, let's follow the solution. Step 1, we're going to list the term number and the a sub n. A, term number 1 is... 1, term number 2 is 8, term number 3 is 27, term number 4 is 64. Now we're going to get the first difference. The, the difference between 1 and 8 is 7, 8 and 27 is 19, 27 and 64 is 37. Observe that they don't have the same uh first difference so let's proceed to the second difference 7 and 19 the difference between 7 and 19 is 12 19 and 37 is 18 as you observe that they don't have the same second difference so therefore this is not a linear in nature nor a quadratic in nature however if we're going to observe the sequence this sequence 1 8 27 64 is a special type of sequence a perfect cube numbers why they are called perfect cube numbers? Because they are obtained by multiplying the same number three times. So therefore, the general rule of n term of the sequence could be a sub n equals a n cube. So let's try. If we're going to multiply 1 by itself three times, 1 cube, the answer is 1. If we're going to multiply 2 three times by itself, or 2 cube is 8. If we're going to multiply 3 by itself 3 times, or 3 cubed is 27. If we're going to multiply, if we're going to multiply 4 by itself 3 times, or 4 cubed is 64. Therefore, the general rule or the n term of the sequence is a sub n equals n cubed. Therefore, the general rule or n term of the sequence of 1, 8, 27, 64 is a sub n equals n cubed. In this type of problem, it is very important to examine the terms in its sequence because there are some sequences that are special cases like this one 1 8 27 and 64 are perfect cube numbers find its general rule or n term of the sequence 2 4 8 and 16 now let's apply the step one now let's uh, draw a table and we have n or the term number and the a sub n term number one is two term number four 2 is 4, term number 3 is 8, and term number 4 is 16. Now, for the step 2, let's try to find the difference between the consecutive numbers in its term. The common difference between 2 and 4 is 2, common difference between 4 and 8 is 4, common difference between 8 and 16 is 8. So they don't have the same uh, first difference. Now, let's proceed to the second difference. We have 2 and 4 is 2, 4 and 8 is 4. Therefore, this is not a linear in nature, nor a quadratic in nature. And we all know that this is not a perfect square, and this is also not a perfect cube. Now, if we're going to examine these numbers, 2, 4, 8, and 16, this is a power of 2. Why? Because meaning a number of the form 2 to the power of n, where n is an integer. Therefore, this is a special type of sequence. So therefore, if we're going to use this form 2 to the power of n, 
for the step 3. Now 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Therefore, the general rule a sub n equals 2 to the power of n satisfy our a sub n. So therefore, the general form is a sub n equals 2 to the power of n. The general rule or n term of the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16 is a sub n equals 2 to the power of n. In inspection, it is very important to examine the term. If it is linear in nature, quadratic in nature, or it is a special types of sequences or a special type of numbers. So in our next video, I'm going to discuss how to find the general rule or n term using the algebraic method. So that's all for now. Thank you for listening and have a good day.